Um, um, good morning or good um, evening or good afternoon to everybody, all the attendants. Um, as you know, uh, the Grid Priority Monitor um, is not a single study, but a family of studies um, where we analyze uh, the situation of grid parity, of photovoltaic grid parity uh, in different countries around the world. Um, the, the, uh, the, the different studies are organized by industry sector. Uh, the first one we created was the um, uh, focused on the uh, residential sector. The second one uh, is this one, which are, we are analyzing today, which is the commercial uh, sector. And we are preparing a new issue uh, for the utility scale uh, segments. Um, these studies, as you know, are updated uh, yearly. Uh, this issue uh, dedicated to the commercial sector is the first issue, and it will be updated uh, next year. Um, uh, going through the presentation, um, going through the presentation, um, um, just a brief introduction about Eclarion. Uh, we are a strategic consulting company with a full focus on energy and uh, mainly new energy issues uh, where um, we take care of renewable energy, smart grids, and energy efficiency. Um, in those, or for those markets, uh, we um, uh, undertake policy consulting analysis, uh, strategy consulting studies, uh, financial advisory and M&A um, uh, operations, and uh, market intelligence products like, for example, this grid priority monitor analysis. Uh, we have two main offices um, in, in the world, uh, one in Berlin and one in Madrid. Um, this study is uh, directed from the Madrid office. And we have also partner offices in other countries like India, Italy, Colombia, and Chile. And now we're going to explain the details of the uh, study we have conducted. Um, Maria Jesus will take care of that. Uh, after this, we'll have time to reply to your questions. Thank you very much. Thank you, David. Um, good morning and good afternoon to everyone. This is Maria Jesus speaking. Okay, first of all, uh, let us review what is grid parity. Grid parity is uh, the moment when electricity prices from the utility grid are equal to the cost of generating one kilowatt hour of electricity from, photovoltaic, from a photovoltaic system. Uh, once grid parity is reached, then a prosumer is better off by self-consuming self his own PV electricity generated by the PV system in his own rooftop, for example, than by buying uh, electricity from the utility. In this analysis, uh, we have uh, compared the LCOE, which I will explain later on, with the grid electricity price from the grid, the variable components of the electricity price. Um, this is an assumption that implies that 100% of the electricity generated with the PV system is self-consumed on site. Uh, depending on the regulatory framework in each country, uh, this will be a reality or not. The GPM series uh, have analyzed several markets. In uh, the GPM um, issue on the commercial segment, we have analyzed seven countries, which are Mexico, Chile, Brazil, Spain, Italy, France, and Germany. In previous uh, issues, we have also analyzed uh, the US, Australia, and the UK. Um, the um, special features included in this issue uh, include uh, an analysis of the economics of a 30 kilowatt PV system um, as opposed to the commercial utility rates from the, the grid. We have analyzed um, mature markets and also promising markets in Latin America. The assumptions we have made uh, include 100% um, on, on site of consumption, which could be also equated to net energy metering, which is present in some countries being analyzed. 
um, and 70% separation. Other assumptions, if you are interested, uh, can be found in the, in the complete report, which is available in UNARDO website. Inputs include uh, real market data from EPC prices um, given by EPC companies in each of the countries analyzed. And um, we also consider, consider the after-tax cost flows from the point of view of an investor, which is a corporation. Um, also, just to highlight, we only account for the energy charge within the electricity tariff, um, but be aware that in some cases, other savings, for example, from the capacity charge can be attained. The PV grid parity monitor is sponsored by renowned international companies such as San Edison, Baiba, Sector Nova, Trina Solar, and Ingetim. Also, this issue is supported by relevant PV partners in each market, such as PV associations in Chile, Mexico, Spain, France, and Germany. And also, it is supported by the European Government Institute. Um, it is very important to um, know what the LCOE is included is including in the calculation and uh, the um, simplifying assumptions made in the report. The LCOE includes all the main important cost components um, within a PV investment, such as the uh, operating cost and the uh, initial investment, um, also, as I mentioned, we are considering after tax cost flows. Then we also consider, consider the um, depreciation tax shield and um, the, in terms of uh, per uh, kilowatt hour. So this figure is a simplification of, of the analysis and how um, the several components are translated into a single levelized cost per kilowatt hour. Also, please note that while uh, for a specific PV system, the LTOE by definition is fixed as soon as the PV system is built, grid electricity uh, prices from the grid, well, from the utility, are likely to increase in the future. Therefore, if we analyze um, LCOE of PV technology in general, we can see that uh, the LCOE decreases because the, the cost from PV electricity decreases. It's one of the main parameters within the LCOE calculation and grid electricity prices are increasing. But what we are analyzing here is uh, the LCOE of a particular PV system in time, which, may, which remains unchanged, while grid electricity prices are likely to increase. Um, the results of this issue um, conclude that the countries which are best positioned for the development of the PV self-consumption market are three, Italy, Germany, and Mexico. Here we have summarized the results in a position matrix which depends on grid parity proximity and regulatory support for PV self-consumption, which are the two necessary conditions for the self-consumption market to develop. Now let us see the particular results in each country. In Brazil, uh, the graph shows that the cost of PV electricity are not enough so as to attain grid parity. Uh, and moreover, the, the relatively high discount rate also pushes um, grid parity further away at the moment. And um, moreover, the variable component of the electricity tariff is relatively low and it has recently been reduced. 
Regarding the local regulation, there is a net metering regulation which is quite efficient in um, guaranteeing the investor uh, a compensation for each kilowatt hour injected to the grid. This is quite a, a recent regulation. In Chile, uh, the case is uh, relatively similar to that in, in Brazil. Uh, the standard tariff has been recently reduced. Um, the, um, the weight of the variable component of the electricity tariff is relatively low within, within the total, the total uh, grid utility cost and the current economics uh, in the country um, are not um, as uh, favorable as it is needed so as to attain grid parity. Um, also, the discount reduce within the LTO calculation is relatively high. Then, uh, regarding the regulation, there is, there is a recent net metering regulation that has been approved. However, the technical rules which are needed uh, for this regulation to enter into force are still pending. Uh, this, is, this will be a net billing regulation as uh, soon as it is introduced. In Mexico, um, there is a particular segment within the electricity consumers that is those um, included within uh, the so-called tarifa dos, that is consumers with contracted power below 25 kilowatts, who have already reached free parity. The economics are um, favorable for these kind of consumers, both in terms of the electricity tariff from the grid that they pay and the cost of uh, installing and maintaining a PV system in, in northern Mexico, as well as the, re the generation, which is uh, also relatively high uh, given the, the um, high levels of irradiation there. However, for the rest of the commercial consumers in the country, um, the retail rate is uh, still um, low, so they haven't reached the grid parity yet. Regarding the regulation, it has been assessed as an um, efficient regulation with the, the full uh, the full, the four sums, which is the, the best assessment, uh, because this regulation guarantees a one-for-one -one, uh, compensation to prosumers. Um, this means that uh, for each kilowatt hour that the prosumer injects to the grid, he receives a credit equal to one kilowatt hour. Uh, we have also noted that an eventual regulatory change that could modify the recognition process of injected power by PV systems uh, to the grid uh, could benefit these generators and if commercial PV systems or distributed generation in general is included in this legislation, then this would um, generate not only savings from the variable components of the electricity tariff but also from the capacity charge as well. In France, um, the prices from grid electricity are relatively low, therefore grid parity has not been reached yet. Here we have analyzed uh, northern, um, sorry, south, uh, southern France, Marseille, and um, in spite of the higher radiation there, uh, grid parity has not been reached yet. Uh, in terms of the, of the regulation, currently there is a feeding tariff scheme. Um, this scheme compensates the prosumer with, um, with a value which is higher than the variable components of the electricity tariff. Therefore, the prosumer is not in, has no incentive to self-consume as much as possible. Rather, he's um, better off by injecting as much as possible, uh, as much PV electricity as possible to the grid. 
However, there is uncertainty about the future of this scheme. In Germany, uh, public reparity has already been reached. And um, here we can highlight that the economics of the systems are, are very favorable. Um, prices are very competitive. Also, the discount rate for within the LTOE calculation is relatively low. Uh, the variable component of the electricity tariff is relatively high, and um, so the situation is very clear. Uh, full grid parity has already been reached, also long ago. In terms of the regulation, uh, there is a feeding tariff program that fosters the market in an efficient way. Given that the remuneration for each kilowatt hour that the prosumer injects to the, to the grid is lower than the variable component of the electricity tariff, and as such, the prosumer is better off by self consuming as much PV electricity as possible. Here, also, it is interesting to note that um, there is a debate going on at the moment about introducing the EEG, which is uh, the name of the program. Uh, the surcharge also for the PV um, electricity each kilowatt hour that is self consumed on site. In Italy, uh, food grid parity has also been reached. The economics uh, are favorable. Um, the discount rate is not a barrier for grid parity, and electricity tariffs from the grid are relatively high. The regulation is a net billing scheme that compensates prosumers for each kilowatt hour that they inject to the grid. And the value of each kilowatt hour is lower than the um, variable component of the electricity tariff. Therefore, uh, prosumers have an incentive to self consume as much as possible. Um, but please note that this scheme is currently under discussion among the Italian regulators. Finally, in Spain, um, partial grid parity has been reached. Uh, in some cases, it is um, already um, it, um, more attractive for some consumers to subconsume PV electricity than to buy electricity from the grid. Um, in particular, in, in Las Palmas, where radiation is relatively high. But um, here, we should consider the current situation regarding the regulation, because although um, it is legal to subconsume PV electricity, there has been a law proposal which included um, not only no compensation for the excess PV electricity fed into the grid, but also a fee for each kilowatt hour of PV on site self consumption to compensate for TMD charges. Uh, note that this has not been introduced yet. It, it is only a proposal, but it had a, a real impact in the market. So as a conclusion, um, here we should highlight that in major markets, PV grid parity is uh, an economic reality. Germany, Italy, Spain, and Mexico have reached, have reached grid parity uh, for all or some uh, consumer segments. Um, the results show that the main parameter driving PV grid parity is the significant cost reduction of PV system prices. These have, have this decreased from uh, an 11% uh, in Germany to a 24% in France. Um, it is very important to consider that um, grid parity by itself is no guarantee of market creation. Uh, some regulatory support is needed in order for the, the market to, to develop. Um, in many cases, in particular, small, relatively small electricity consumers, um, a high uh, self-consumption ratio cannot be reached. 
Therefore, um, there, there, it is necessary that um, there is some um, support to value the excess gener generation exported to the grid. In this sense, uh, the countries that are best positioned for, for the market to develop uh, are three, Germany, Italy, and Mexico. In these three countries, uh, the economics are favorable for uh, market creation, and also uh, the regulation is effective in, in uh, guaranteeing investors some compensation and some support for the excess generation. Um, finally, with the PV grid parity um, being an increasing reality in many markets, there are new trends which are posing challenges. We have already mentioned that in Germany, uh, the, the idea of including the EDG surcharge uh, also to each kilowatt hour of billion size of consumption um, is currently under discussion. And also in Spain, uh, the latest law proposal also includes a fee on TV fast consumption in order to cover the and cost, which is called the Aja de Palo. Um, please, um, please note that we are working at the moment on our new issue, the GPM for utility scale TV plans, um, which will be released really soon. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, don't hesitate to ask if you have any questions or write to us. Okay. Thank you very much, Marasus.